Already I can feel the weight of this crown I wear. I need men around me I can trust. Congratulations on the film, it's such a great accomplishment. Thank you. But I was particularly impressed by the Battle of Agincourt. We shot it in about two weeks. I think in an ideal world we would have had like five, mm -hmm. but uh, there was something about the chaos of doing it in two weeks that I think you can feel on screen. There was a moment there I remember when Joel, he did really enjoy the whole thing. There was one moment though where he was frightened for his life, you know? It's like he had mud all on his face, in his eyes, he was falling over. It was scary to shoot, you know? Anything could go wrong in those situations. I'm here because you're my friend. King has enough friends. King has only followers and foe. But I will come with you. It was pretty awful at times, and then there were these moments of pure joy about it, you know, like, there was actually a moment where I, I thought I was in a lot of trouble. I, I was really scared about not being able to get out of the mud, and I was being sat on by this guy, and there was a horse right near me, and I was terrified the horse was gonna fall on me, and, and then the very next take, someone trod in the mud right next to my face, and it caked me in this mud like someone had shoved a pie in my face. Oh. And I have a photo of it, and I have this big smile on my face and I think it was the one moment that, that reminded me of how happy I would have been at the age of 10 to know that I was in that situation. All hail King Henry! Well, Timothy, do you remember your reaction when you realised you were going to be part of this huge battle scene? I, I was daunted. I was scared because uh, I hadn't done anything like that before and uh, I knew it was the kind of thing that Joel Edgerton uh, had done very successfully in other movies, and sure enough, on the day, he relished it. He was having, clearly, a very enjoyable time doing it. But when we got into it, once we got closer to it, I really, I really relished it. Did you have to do a lot of prep? Did you have to, you know, learn to hold a sword? Yes. I had, I had to learn how to <laughs> hold a sword. And there was a lot, of, um, a lot of sword training, a lot of fight training. Mm -hmm. Try to get good on the horse, too. Um, try to get good on a horse while wielding a sword, that kind of thing. So, uh, but the period training for this kind of role or this kind of movie is kind of what you dream about when you're 12 years old and you want to be an actor or you have some conception of what it is to be an actor.